today we are trying to fix my transmission slip issue. I'm at Jackson's today, so you might actually get to meet him today. Uh, his TL is right in front of me too, so I'll shut that off in a second. It's scaring me. <laughs> uh, but it's it slips really bad. We bought some non-slip stuff for it and just some fuel line cleaner for the hell of it. So it ran even better. I bought a quick release by my buddy Jamari, so he's got to buy the hub for it and it'll go on the car. And I don't really care because this Accord, it's got a blown horn and the steering wheel just shot and it, it doesn't really matter. And I sit kind of far back because I have longer legs, but I have kind of shorter arms. So it's kind of just an awkward thing. And the quick release will also like kind of push it forward and it'll just look better and feel more comfortable. And I, I, kind of, I like the look more. He's going to get a water bottle right now and we're going to get started. There he is right now. Got a water bottle to catch our transmission fluid. It's a little ghetto, but you know, it works. We don't have anything else. So this yeah. is this is the TL yeah, I've been talking about. The, the, the thing. I haven't gotten anything over it so far because, you know, I haven't been here in a fat minute. But this is Jackson's TL Type S. I'll let him describe it more since, you know, it's his yeah. car. So, this is my 2008 Anchor TL Type S. Uh, it's an auto, but, you know, Tiptronic, so, you know, is what it is. Um, it's, it's really fun. I mean, it's kind of, you know, relative to his Accord. I mean, chassis-wise, it's, it is an Accord. So it has a J35 A8. That's you know V6, not not a four cylinder. So it's it's really cool. Pretty quick. I mean it's it it, it holds with 350Zs and even beats them. So and in a pretty cool package. So mod wise, we've got the endless RPM front grille, uh, just with the Acura badge on the front. We've got LED switchback um, headlights. Fully A spec all the way around. A spec lip, side skirts, and uh, rear rear diffuser. We've got 20 millimeter wheel spacers just to kind of bring it out a little bit more. Koenig advanced Z's. They allow the car to sit a little bit lower. I think you know, he's 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 pretty low, and I can barely fit my fingers through there. Yeah. And these are the stock wheels. These are just stock TL Type S nickname waffles. Um, some chrome deleting stuff, mostly just kind of here and a little bit on the front. Um, let's see. Just so. Let's see if I have my key with me. On the interior, a little bit dirty, but. In the interior, we have different floor mats, different infotainment system. Pardon the rib seats, that will be addressed very soon. And then we have a steering wheel wrap just to kind of clean it all together. Oh, and also dash cover, which, you know, if you know anything about third gen TLs, their dashes crack, and it's just not a fun ordeal. So, that's my Acura TL Type S. For anyone that's not a car person, this will definitely kick that car's ass. Just, yeah, but it looks a little chunkier, but like it's, it. yeah. it's it's I it's it's it. faster than it looks. I mean, again, it's it beats a lot of V6 sport sedans, things like you know your G35, your V6 Mustangs. You know, a lot of people sleep on them because no one really knows what it is. A lot of people think it's just an Accord or a nicer Accord. But this being the Type S, you get which, paddle shifters too. Yeah, you, you get paddle shifters. So yeah, Type S gets you quad tip exhaust, a little bit different uh, tail lights, and a little bit of aero stuff. The really cool wheels mentioned earlier. Um, it gets you a whole different motor. So the normal TLs have a 3.2 this has a 3.5 and that gives it about a 30 horsepower bump uh which is awesome and then the the suspension has you know a little bit beefier control arms sway bar you know just to make it handle better and then a few things on the interior you know like embroidered or you know embroidered seats with the type s logo you know and a couple other little things the paddle shifters and it really, it really is a nice kind of sporty sedan, and for a first car, I cannot complain. You know, bought it, bought it with my own money, so. 
I love it. Yeah. Another thing too. Tent. Oh yeah, tent. He's he's, he's pretty dark. He can't really see inside of it. He's he's pretty dark. I mean, like you can you can get close. Yeah, it ain't anything. You can't see through it. That's what I. There's under my car. It's it's a little loud if you couldn't tell. Uh, I am changing this though. We are getting new headers. Uh, deleting this cat, and we're gonna get a uh, what's it called? The cherry bomb? Yeah, cherry bomb resonator. Cherry bomb resonator. And then a new tip that is in that you know that riced out kind of burnt fart can. Yeah. I'm just making it really clean. Make it loud, but not like throaty. Because I like how this sounds at lower PMs. Like I think I have a few, a few clips of it. I'll, I'll add in there. But when it gets to maybe like 4K RPM, it gets really canny and just sounds yeah, really, really bad. Yeah, really just kind of cheap. So. It, it kind of gives you that Honda sound, and I just hate it. But we're gonna drain the trans real quick, and hopefully this thing will stop slipping, and it'll be actually drivable. The next day. All right, this is the next day. Uh, ran into some difficulty with the transmission. Uh, yeah, we couldn't we couldn't get the drain plug off because it was it was kind of clogged with crap, and we just need to you know get it off. So. Oh, I found the WD-40 we lost. Did you? Yeah, it was in my trunk inside I, the tire. I had a, I had a. So feeling. I don't know how it got there, but it's there. So yeah, that's what it is. Um, Anyways, going to get donuts first. We're gonna get donuts, and yesterday I actually dropped off my car at a tent shop, and so he said it should be done at around 9:30. It is 9:30 right now, so we're gonna get donuts and then make the 30-minute drive up there to go get my car. Yeah, uh, I did. 15% in the front windows and then 5% all around. So it's it's gonna be dark. And we're gonna get donuts right there. That menu's Got breakfast. The tent. Bro, I can see it. It's it's, it's exciting. dark. Yeah. You can't see it all on per like, camera, but on person, I'm telling you now, it, it is dark, dark. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's exciting. Let's go check it out. Hang on. <laughs> I went up on it. Dude, that's dark, dark. Yes, Holy crap. That's nice. That's, dude. percent we trust. Dude, that is stupid dark. Are you serious? Oh, it's noticeably dark in here, dude. Wow. Uh, I, am, I could not be. Cool. It is gonna stay cool. Are there any stains back here? No, I didn't. Dude, I'm impressed. Wow. That's. That's crazy. It smells good in here too. Wait, did they get the shit off? <laughs> they did. Look, they got yeah, the old sticker gunk off. Dude, it's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Dude, that's insanely dark. I couldn't be happy with that Civic over there. He's a little low. Sorry, X looks good too. Alright. Uh, Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay, I could not be happier with the results. This thing is dark on the outside. I can still see just fine. Uh, if you're in the OKC area, definitely go check out Star Tent. Uh, they did the whole job for about $180, and I got 15% on the sides and 5% the back windows and the rear windshield. I could not be happier. 
it looks really good. They got it done at, in one night. I, dude, I'm blown away how good it looks. I thought I was gonna see bubbles or just, it would just look like crap. No, it looks really good in here. Like, I could not be happy with the results. So, definitely go check out Star Tint okay, in OKC. Uh, highly recommend them. They're really good, and it's supposed to be cooler in here too when it gets hot. So, I definitely need that because, you know, black car problems. So, uh, definitely go check them out if you're in the OKC area and want to get your car to it because really good customer service, really straightforward, and really easy process, and they do all the work for you. At Jackson's, and we're gonna go and try and install something new in the Accord. We need hardware. We do need hardware, because Jamari well, lost we it. Can... Oh, okay. We're missing a screw. What is going on the Accord? Sparko quick release steering wheel. It's in rough condition, kind of, but you know, it's all there. We're missing a screw. We're missing one screw. Yep. Alright, we're gonna go install this. Well, so. here's what we're gonna start with. We can just start with the hub and then the wheel. And that's quick release. Alright. Then when you want it, then we can go grab some hardware. Then we'll be able to go. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, it looks so dark. It looks so good. Yeah. You know, there you go. That's it. It is a very dark car. It does need a bath, but it is a very dark car. Now. It's crazy. I love it. Alright, hub was too big, so we just put it back on. We'll get a new one. Well, it was meant for a BMW anyways. I didn't sure. think it would. It I didn't think it would either. It's just it was worth a shot. Yeah. But, I get a new hub, and then we can put a quick release on here. And more screws, because Jamari lost them all, so. He jumped them on. <laughs> I mean, you don't want those pliers. I dropped the screw in the wheel. Go get me some. Yep. Drop the screw in the wheel. <laughs> okay, so I think we're just going to try to fix the transmission. Or put the non slip shirt in there. Because I found the WD-40, so we can actually get that nut off. So, might be able to fix my slipping issue. Because it is really bad. It's getting worse, so I'd rather fix that, or at least help it, uh, rather than buy a whole new transmission, because that's a hassle and a headache in itself. And you know, money. <laughs> so we out here, trying to get the <laughs> damn transmission drain plug off. And it is it's, fucking on there, It's dude. on there, on there. You can't really get a impact socket or anything or hey. a breaker bar or anything no what if though i wonder we're ever doing it <laughs> jack didn't go back a syringe ice in my veins ice in your veins oh, transmission stops slipping my veins <laughs> Alright, well, transmission's back and healthy. I yeah. just drove it and, you know, I was a daily driver. I can't already tell a difference. It, it's a lot healthier. So, Jackson yeah, would return. So. Yeah, it, it feels a lot smoother. It's not as jerky and bucky as it used to be, which is awesome. Nope. Because, you know, Honda Automatics, especially just from kind of this era, they weren't that great. I mean, they just. It's a lot it's darker right in here, dude. It's so much darker in here. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but like it's dark. broken again. Damn it. I gotta fix this thing. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah, my ABS is going out and I might have to change my brake fluid too. Yeah. Move to come 
All right, so we out here, we're going to put some uh, headliner glue on this because, you know, it's saggy. Great. So, we'll let you know how it goes. Uh, all right. All right, here we go. We just spray it on the thing. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> that reeks. It is like two days later and I got really lazy and I'm sitting here editing the video and I just realized I didn't get an after picture or an after video of the headliner and it is downpouring outside and I'm not going out there getting all wet just to get a shot of a headliner. Uh, I had to take a picture of it so I just put that in for you. My hair is not cooperating. I'm just gonna put a picture. This is it now. I mean, it's just a headliner. It's not that big a deal. Um, there's just something small in the car. Uh, but the car's acting good. The tent's really nice and cloudy weather as I expected and yeah. This was kind of a slow video. Not really much going on, but uh, I can assure you more stuff is coming. Coilovers are next actually in this car, so we'll get it lowered on stock rims. I got a buyer possibly for my uh, rims that did not fit. They're still just chilling here. Um, really sad, but the offset is off and they stick out two inches past the fender and I I'm not putting camber in this car. So, uh, selling those, and then this is going on sooner or later. So, like I said, more stuff coming to the car, but kind of in an awkward phase right now, so probably just gonna be uploading shorts just to keep my channel relevant. But uh, expect some more stuff in the future, and yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you when we see you.